Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time everyone, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Titans Return episode, Overlord and Emissary. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you why. I'm like, ugh. In a good and a bad way. In a good and a bad way. Just don't, for those of you who are thinking I'm on, thinking I'm on Overlord's side, think again. Anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. So basically the episode, it, um, we find out about the missile, and inside it is Fortress Maximus' Titan Master, Emissary. And Emissary, well, unintentionally shoots at the back of Metroplex, and the Metroplex and Emissary try to link up so they can stop, um, to stop Trypticon, but Trypticon bites an, one of Met Metroplex's arms off, which ironically is the one that you is the same arm that is packaged when you buy Metroplex and stores are online. Um, and they can't defeat Trypticon, so pretty much Metroplex and Emissary are left fending for themselves against a giant ass lizard that turned into a friggin' Godzilla mega death whatever. Anyway, meanwhile at the prayer chamber at the Primal Basilica, uh, Mistress of Flame is Praying to all the primes, all the thirteen primes, including Sentinel Prime, which apparently in this series, Sentinel Prime is one of the thirteen primes. <laughs> oh well. And basically, Over Overlord out of nowhere shows up, and I'll say this: whoever did the the voice for Overlord, bravo, awesome, loved it. It sounds like a badass version of Jerome from Family Guy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, I could do a voice comparing and contrast, but yeah, anyway, I don't want to do, go over the, over the sh abandoned ship here, but anyways. So Overlord confronts Mistress of Flame and asks where Megatron is. And Mr. F Mistress of Flame tries to fight back. <laughs> Good attempt, but ever, whatever she does, whatever she clones, clones herself, uh, you know, light banners and stuff, firing missiles with the defense systems, you know, using this, her staff, yeah. <laughs> And then Overlord smashes the staff, just like, <laughs> I was like, wow, Overlord's a boss. Um, and then Overlord asks where Megatron is again, and Mr. Flame doesn't, because where she doesn't know where Megatron is, because last time she saw Megatron, she left at the end of Combined Wars. So Overlord, who actually saw, has been seeing what's been going on throughout the Combined Wars and Titans Return stuff. Anyway, so big free, but she... Overlord kills Mr. Flame, throws her into the the ceiling, she gets electrocuted, and bleeds to death. Oh my god. I feel so sorry for Mr. Flame. And Overlord just leaves. Uh, god damn. So so a huge middle finger to Overlord for for killing Mr. Flame, so anyway. I will say this in my series that Overlord will not have a a an accent similar to what we saw in the episode. Just saying. I'll tell you why in a future video. But anyways, back to the episode. Um, the combiners determined that Fortress Maximus, who has in, the, in a couple of episodes earlier, um, Perceptor mentioned that Fortress Maximus was decommissioned after the Great War on Cybertron, and the transformation cog of Fortress Maximus is non-functional, according to Computron. So what happens is, while Metroplex and Emissary are fighting Trypticon, um, Victorian orders Copytron to fire the defense systems on Fortune Maximus, which he does, and at the end, we see the missiles firing away through the clouds and Victorian possibly regarding uh, the biggest decision of her life, not only destroying uh, Trypticon, but killing Metroplex and Emissary in the process. Who knows? We'll see what happens. And that is the end of the episode. Oh my god, what the hell. It was a great episode. Um, feel so sorry for Mr. Flame. And, I mean, Overlord was awesome. I foretold everything. I said that, I predicted everything. I'm like Illuminati right here. I said Metroplex's arm would be bitten up by, copy, uh, by Trypticon and Overlord would show up and do something. I didn't expect Overlord to, to, to make an impact that big. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, so, <laughs> oh boy. Um, the vehicle mode designs in the, at least in the one brief scene when Overlord transforms 
and leaves after killing Mistress of Flame. They were good. The, the tank mode looked good. The jet mode, a little dimpy. And what I mean by dimpy, a little tiny. And then as you see the jet mode leave, it gets a little bigger. Don't know why. Must have been the angle. Um, nice to see Fortress Maximus is frozen up in the frozen part of Cybertron. I didn't know there was an Antarctica part of Cybertron. <laughs> Wait, what's Cybertron trying to be? The the F? <laughs> um, it was nice that Metasaur and Devastator got some dialogue. Um, you, see, you heard a bit of Starscream. Kind of bit. The Starscream's trying to adjust to, to, to Churchcon's body here. Um, and wow! It was just that bloody awesome. I mean, it was perfect. I loved it. It was incredible. Um, so, all in all, it was a great episode. I'm curious, really curious to see what happens in the next episode. Um, I wonder what Overlord, like, wants. The description says he wants revenge, but we don't know why. We don't know what happened. We know that he was watching in, on the sidelines in the Combiner Wars series and in the beginning half of Titan's Return until now. So what is his end goal? We don't know. Is, is he want the same goal as Starscream? Is he trying to alliance with Megatron Optimus Prime? I don't know. And yes, we did see Hot Rod a bit as well, who um, you know, is trying to devise a plan and stuff. And it's great that he got his arm back, at least. Because remember, in the Combiner Wars, Devastator ripped Rodimus Prime's arm off, and then now when he became Hot Rod, he got, he got the arm back. So we don't know what's gonna, how that's going to play in, in the future episodes, but we'll see what happens. I'm curious to see what happens in the next episode. Um, this episode was great, uh, pretty fantastic all in all, and we'll see what happens uh, when we next see Overlord, whatever next badass stunt he'll pull off in the next episode. Oh boy. So anyways, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Titans Return episode, Overlord, or Overload, and Emissary, or Overlord and Emissary, sorry. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible for my next video. And yes, so take care, see you soon, have a good day, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.